Okay, our resident comedians. <laughs> very good. We'll have a pass for meeting later. <laughs> so, I don't. Hey, uh, yeah, as uh, only a to mentioned, my name is Ryan. I'm a pastor of this church. A lot of you do know me already, but there's a few that might not. Uh, I pastor the church along with my beautiful wife, Erica. And uh, we've been going almost two years now. Can you believe wow. it? Team? Yeah. Two yeah. years here yeah. in the city. Uh, but it was something that was in our hearts for a long, long time. Eric and I got married, would you believe, before we were even 20, almost 18. So about 11 years, almost, uh, which is really, really cool. Who would have thought that? You're all going, wow, that's so impressive. It's good. You should try it. You should like, get married. Not to each other, not to everyone. <laughs> Who sort of wants to plant a church one day? Come on. Well, yeah, so we, we, we did. We felt, you know, even back when I was a school child, I used to get, bring a, a briefcase, briefcase to school. We brought a briefcase to school when I was a kid. Again, not many, but that was the right So I did. And I used to bring my message and I'd wedge it between two trees and invite people to come and join in my church. Uh, so that's kind of strange for kind of an eight year old sort of thing to do, isn't it? The other thing that I really wanted to be actually was a spy. And uh, I sort of had to work that out because I was like, well, how can you try to save people um, and then also kill people at the same time? It was sort of, I don't know, tough thing to work out. So I gave in to deciding, you know what, I'm going to go with the pastoral thing. Although I do travel overseas a lot. So. Good move. I don't know, okay? So you wouldn't know, and you wouldn't know. If you're not there with me, but I'm doing secret business. <laughs> but, uh, so anyway, yeah, I just, we decided, you know, even before we were married, we wanted to plant a church. And that seems possibly like that's a bit of an odd thing. But the reason why we did it, strangely enough, or the reason why I'm sort of sort of sharing this tonight is just uh, for those who sort of maybe in the first time in church and go, well, this is a bit strange, maybe it's not what we were expecting. But we had a, you know, we had a whole desire to, to start a church because we wanted to see people connected with their Heavenly Father. We believe that every single person is not an accident, they're not a monkey. Yeah. Some of you are sort of wondering, but you're not, not a monkey. You, you have a purpose, you've been created by God, we believe, that loves you, that has the desire that you live our your best life. And so we planted this church because we firstly wanted to see people connected to a God, the God that created them, that has a great purpose for them. The second thing, the second reason why we planted this church is because we had a desire to see people connected with other people in, in relationship. You know, who knows, so the, sort of the second most thing that you're looking for in life is relationship. You're looking for your soulmate, and you're looking for people who you can gather with and do life with. You know, you break sort of most commonly people want to do life with people that are kind of good, right? Is that true? Yeah. And so we thought, you know what, we want to have a church where basically people can connect with good people and build relationships and do life together. You know, we're all committed to the same thing, journeying through life. We believe that God is our Savior and our Lord, and to work walk together in that journey I think is a really precious thing. And you can see that this room is full people that are living an example of that. There is great community in this place. We like to have fun as Christians. We like to giggle and do other sorts of fun things and uh, wrestle every now and then. Um, why wrestle? I don't know. I like two boys. All right, I've got two boys. We love to wrestle. Anyway, the third reason why we planted this church is because we wanted to see people living out that purpose. Come on. As I said before, I believe that absolutely everyone has been created for a reason. They're not an accident, and we are completely committed to try to help people work that out. I believe that when you're living out your purpose, the very reason why God placed you on this earth, when you're living that life, you're living your best life. You're doing what you designed to do and the life that you're to live. And so as a church, we're committed to those three things. Connecting you to a God that loves you, who has paid the price for your sins, who wants you to live an amazing life, to see you connected with a community of people, to have 
deepen and a real relationship with people and to be connected to your purpose. That's it. That's why this church is here and why we exist. And tonight I just wanted to share that with you because if you're sitting here and you might say, you know what, I don't have a relationship with God. I don't even, I've never even thought or really come to the realization that possibly there is a purpose in my life. And maybe you feel lonely and like you're disconnected and you don't have friends to do life with that are committed to you. Then I'd, I'd like to say, you know what, come back next week. Come back the next few weeks. Connect with these people. Build relationships with them. Get to know the God that has created you and has a great purpose for you. He loves you very much. And Eric and I are so grateful that you're here tonight. And uh, our hope is that you will be blessed tonight, that you've had a great night. And uh, yeah, that we see you next week. And uh, more importantly, that you come to a relationship with a God that loves you. Anyway, that's me. That's all I wanted to sort of share tonight. I think we should get Matt back maybe one more time. How does that sound? Yeah. Anyone sure. a fan for that? Yeah. Yeah, we want to get Matt back. Congratulations, three weeks to